What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And today we're doing something a little different. We're on UFC 4, an online challenge. The man, the myth, the legend that is Proxus issued a challenge to all YouTubers. I assume he meant the pro players, but I'm a pro at sucking on this game. Don't take that the wrong way. And I thought I'd give this a challenge. And what the challenge was, guys, is players Derek Lewis in three fights, and no cheating, straight up three fights, and see how many switch kick KOs you can get with Derek Lewis. And at the moment, the weight class in ranked was, was like featherweight. So I chose to do it on quick match, which you do run into some good opponents on quick match. My game plans were either do like 100 matches and see if I can get some good ones or do three in a row. I thought I'd do three in a row. And I tell you what, guys, I am pleasantly surprised with the results. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, thank you to Proxus for issuing the challenge. I'm sure he meant the pro players, but I thought I would take this idea and give it a go. Uh, he called it the Derek Lewis challenge. I'm just going to call it the Proxus Derek Lewis challenge probably. Uh, but yeah, I really actually I generally enjoy this to be honest. A little bit of rage in the middle, but that's to be expected from me. Uh, but nothing we can't come back from in the fights. And uh, yeah, I uh, definitely recommend watching the whole video, guys. Uh, they're they're fun fights. So yeah, I will catch you in the next video, guys. Enjoy. Okay, there we go. We are gonna go with Derek. Who is he going with? Okay, he has gone with Francis Ngannou. This should be interesting. From I think I've only ever used Derek Lewis once, and when I did, I completely gassed myself within the first two minutes. So this should be a lot of fun. Coming up next, it's so I'm definitely going to try and fight slow here, just at the start, just to wear him down, and then go for the switch kick. I know how to do the switch kick. It's just R1 and X or circle. I'm pretty sure he has it both ways. So let's, let's give it a go. to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping... I'm just glad we're not fighting a wrestler at the start here, because that would have sucked. Right hook to the body. Nice punch there by the Predator, Francis and Oh! He's in trouble. Oh! Oh, come on. That's That's got to count for something, guys. That's Even if we lose every fight we have... That's got to count for something. You guys got to, you guys got to appreciate that in some way for sure. It's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when to fold him. Yep, absolutely. 26 total strikes have landed for Derek Lewis. Beautiful combination there for the... Oh, Zeus hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh. Oh, get bodies. Get bodies. Get body. Oh my god, am I going to do it? I'm going to count it. I'm going to count it. I don't... No, no, no. Let me get up. Let me get up. Let me get up. It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions to get to. Especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in... I fucking lent into an Nganu hook. That is not what you want at all. Bodied. Go. Yeah, that was just a we got shot. one. We got right one. Right that is all that matters. We got one. I am happy with that. Oh my god. I actually can't believe we got one. I was so dead set that I was going to get bodied repeatedly. You know what? No matter what happens here, guys, I am happy. The body shots work nice as well. Actually, I wasn't expecting them to, but... Oh my god, we got a switch kick KO with Derek Lewis! Let's go! I was ready to say at the start of this video, this is going to be the worst attempt on YouTube. But you know what? I'm happy with that. Oh no, dear lord have mercy. He's gone with... He's gone with Curtis Blades. Okay, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Alright guys, we know exactly what's about to happen here. I'm probably going to get wrestle fucked. Oh, and this lag as well. Oh. 
Well, right, so here we go. This highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. They're certainly getting after it early. Oh, the, this connection, bro. What is this? Someone got their connection out of a cereal box today. Looking for that left hand, just missed. It's just throwing double hooks. Double leg shot. Oh, massive slam. That'll change the complexion of this one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to... The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, and try to escape this very, very dangerous position. All right, we're all right, we're all right. Half guard. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. Boom. He's got to grab that head. Good shot on, kid. to get blasted. Oh, big punch land. Yeah, I got that head movement. I got that head movement. You already know. Oh, come on. Grow up. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that punch. Oh. A little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. I, no. Okay. Oh, he slams him to the ground. <laughs> so just over 20 total strikes have landed for the heavyweight Curtis Blades. Oh, he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch Switch him punch, stance. Smile on my face. Good job. Blades' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Both. Quick entry to get Man, him on a single. Man, that was a great single. Oh, oh takes him off the height. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. Bro, it's so laggy. How can you beat this? Honestly, what the fuck? All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Come on, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. What a load of garbage. What a load of garbage the ground and pound system is on this game. Oh, hammer fist here, DC. These are gonna leave a mark. These could be the beginning of the end. I mean, he's trying to defend his new fight. He's throwing all of himself into every one of these hammers. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do. Now. He's going to start. I mean, like. Big shots. It's. The ground and pound is terrible on this game, bro. I will say that until the day I die. I swear to God. I swear to God, bro. I, I'm going to have a quick rant here between these rounds. No one in their right mind is going to be getting hit on the arm and then just do this. Yeah, get a grip. Get a grip. He's going to throw that one out there really quick. It's not going to happen. No one's just going to happily just drop. Yeah, you might be exhausted. You might Your arms might hurt. But you'd rather have sore arms than be fucking knocked out. Just gonna say that, or get pounded on your face. Because I wasn't hurt. You ready? All right, round two. Big punch lands over the top. Hugs gonna follow this one. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. And he landed the right hand there. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a combined. Oh, and there's another uppercut. DC, you got a pretty good uppercut. I'm not sure it's as good as his, but pretty good. It's not as good as this guy. Because this guy can throw it on both sides, and he throws it with the same amount of power. Shot a double leg. Oh, high amplitude slam for him there. Wow. Let me see if I can sprawl real quick. Well, there are a few things 
more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. All right, dominant position for him here. Full Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> the bottom, better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you got to start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knees. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to... Yeah, this is it. Half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better... This sucks. Yeah, bro. I'm not getting out of here. Because even if I... How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys okay. like Mark Coleman. Just beating people up in the ground. Yeah. I was going to say, he, there's no way. Because the second I get up, yeah, it's over. Bro, the ground and pound is so broken on this game. It's insane. It's so unrealistic. It hurts me. It physically hurts me. How unrealistic this ground and pound is. Oh my god, this guy definitely is a turbo virgin. Oh my god, I have no issue with getting beaten on the ground. But when people abuse the most unrealistic mechanic I've ever seen in my entire life. No one will ever tell me this ground and pound is realistic. I will literally, I will literally smack the fuck out of anyone that tells me that ground and pound is realistic. Because like I said, man, when you're getting hit, your arms don't just drop. Same as in boxing, if you're getting smacked up, you're not just you're not gonna be against the corner getting unloaded on and just do this, are ya? And just let someone slap you around the head like 15 times. Oh bro. Alright, guys, final fight of this video. We got one at the start. Second fight wasn't great. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. There we go. Yeah, this guy don't really know what he's doing. That's how it's done, baby. Two. We got two out of the necessary three. I am happy with that. I have to say, I'm very, very, very happy with that. Let's go, boys. That's how it's done. This guy's only level six. I feel kind of bad. But it is what it is, bro. You get s fucking slapped about like that. That's just how it be. Welcome to the game. Well, that was a good fun. That was a good challenge. I thoroughly enjoyed that. So thank you to Prioxis for issuing the challenge. I'm sure he probably hasn't watched the video. But nonetheless, I appreciate him issuing the challenge. And um, I thought it would be fun to do it myself. And yeah, I mean, he played ranked, but I'm not that good. And also, it's not the correct weight class at the moment, so it made sense just to do it in quick match. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.